Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is my chair project that I'm doing. I found this if you, I did a bunch of like dumpster shopping network stuff and I found this chair and it just spoke to me. So what I've, I've got the, I'll show you right here. Got the flat reed. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna soak probably like one of these and then probably a partial of another. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to take a tape measure, and I've already done this, and you go from here to here, and you measure it, and you go from here to here, and you measure it, and you subtract the two, and then you divide by two, and it gives you a number, and when you do it here and here, you're going to get, that's where the, this pretty much, this line right here is exactly equal to that, and if you measure here, it should be almost exactly that distance from back there so when I come back probably tomorrow I'll have the reed soaked and I'll be doing some of this I don't know if I'm going to show some of it or just do it I might do it and just show you afterwards I got clamshoe I always oh you want to staple the flat reed together then you can undo the staples and you get clams to hold it in place while you do the different parts so I will be back when I have more done. I'm finally getting around to this with this COVID-19 stuff. I'm still working, so don't have much free time. But uh, until I get back and show you more, I'll see you in just a bit. Bye. How you doing? And welcome back to my channel. This is my flat reed that I'm soaking. I'm doing this one hole because when I did a bunch of the calculator websites, it said that I needed like... A little bit more than two rolls so I did a roll plus like two strips that I pulled up and hopefully that's enough because it said like you have like 120 feet approximately per one of these of the 5 8 flat read and I estimated I need like a 123 so I did two more pieces so then over here I've got my clamps that to help go through and then that and I got a stapler so I don't know how I'm gonna do I may just film after the fact or I may make some do some and, and do little bits filming I'm not sure so I will talk to y'all later it's been a while since I've done videos because I've been so because I'm working still so and a lot going on so thank you for the support don't forget to like and share and comment and I'll come back I'll take you over here there's the chair this if you don't know I did like a dumpster shopping network you know and they, they had two chairs and one looked decent and I just took it and I wood filled it some and stained it and I'm gonna be putting flat weed on it So, I tried to use a 5 gallon bucket, but it's way too small. So, yeah, that's why I'm using the kitchen sink. So, I got a little blanket here that's like an all weatherproof thing. So, I will talk to y'all later. Be back in the next phases. Hello, and welcome back to my channel, folks. This is the finished chair. Uh, go back to way back in the day. I did a video, uh, the original dumpster shopping network, and this was a chair, and I, and I got the thing, I got the flat reed, I just did a little short thing there, because I didn't need much, I just did a small thing in there, cut it, this is all my scrap, plus I got a whole nother reel, I had no idea, this took longer, because I kept doing it, and I'm like, oh, I'm off by one, or I'm off by, th ah, and I kept having to undo and do and so it took me a while but I think it turned out good. I did it looser than I thought because I don't know how tight you wanted this because they said keep it loose so you can weave. So when it dries we'll see how good it dries but this is my final project. I stained it. I have a bunch of videos you can watch. I finally got to doing it so this is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. One thing I noticed and it may be easier when it's dry. 
But like when I did it, I couldn't tell what was like fiber because mine, I had stuff that when I bent it one way or the other, it looked like the scratchy side, not the smooth side. And I think I got some of the scratchy or the not perfect side. But I mean, I couldn't tell. Unless it's something you do when it's dry and then you just remember this is always the underside or something. I don't know, but my first time doing it, it took me a while because I kept having to undo the weave and start over and so I don't know. I think it turned out for my first time ever doing it. I think it's not bad. I'll just have to wait and see when it dries how it how it tightens up because this is how it is now. And I think when it gets completely dry, it'll be a lot better. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. God bless you all and talk to you later. Bye-bye.